Hi, I'm Mike Young of Athletic Lab Sports Performance Training Center. In this next segment, we're going to talk about sprint drills. Sprint drills are a great opportunity to continue the warm up as well as work on technique in a safe and controlled manner. Sprint drills are a great opportunity to work on sprinting mechanics. Sprinting is an activity which needs to be finely tuned, it is a skill. And sprint drills allow you a safe platform to build cueing systems as well as develop the technique in your athletes prior to actually doing it in the violent, highly aggressive task of sprinting. So what we're going to do here is take an athlete through a variety of sprint drills and I'll give you some of my coaching cues and techniques and what I'm looking for. So now we'll take our athlete through a variety of sprint drills. We'll use some of my most favorite drills here, most of which are focusing on what I would call front side mechanics. With all of these sprint drills, I'm looking for postural alignment and appropriate movement of the lower limbs. So Darian, let's go ahead and do a fast A skip where we punch at the ground hard. Shoulders back. Next, we'll do an A skip. In this drill, I want to see her upright and tall. I want to see the thigh project to about parallel with the ground. The heel should be directly under the butt and the toe should be facing forward. Let's go ahead and do an A skip, Darian. Next, we'll do a high knee run. In this one, again, I want to see upright and tall posture. I want to see the head stacked vertically over the shoulders, hips, and spine. We're going to get the knee projecting so that the thigh is about parallel with the ground, no higher here, just parallel with the ground. Heel should be directly under the butt and the toe should be facing forward. Let's go ahead and do a high knee run, Darian. So in those last three drills, we worked on what's called front side mechanics. We want to see the thigh mostly in front of the body. In efficient sprinting, that's what happens. We don't want to see the feet behind you. Most of your running is actually going to occur in front of you when we're trying to maximize speed. Now we're going to start to piece things together a little bit more and do what's called an alternating fast leg. So here the rhythm is going to be shuffle, shuffle, step over. And now instead of just moving into that front side mechanic, now Darian is going to do a cyclic action with the leg. So let's go ahead and do a shuffle, shuffle, step over or alternating fast leg, Darian. The last one we'll do in this series here is a straight leg bound. We can do this a variety of different ways. Sometimes I'll do it short and choppy, other times I'll do it wide and open. This is a great one for preparing the hamstrings for sprinting. It's not so much specific to the actual technique of sprinting, but it's great for preparing for the muscle actions and the dynamics and the forces involved with sprinting. So let's go ahead and do a straight leg bound, wide and open, get yourself moving fast. Typically when I do these sprint drills, I'll do them in 20 to 30 meter segments. It's really critical that we do these with an eye on technique. That's what the goal is. If we're doing them and just going through the motions, we're wasting our time. As I said, these aren't going to make you a better sprinter in and of themselves, so the athlete needs to be mindful of how they're doing them and they need to connect the cues that we're using in this very controlled platform here into what we would do when we actually go and sprint. So 20 to 30 meters on each repetition, sometimes two times. So maybe out for 20 or 30 meters and then back for 20 or 30 meters. Typically I'll do about five to six different drill variations. I showed you my most popular ones here. This is a great lead in for an actual sprint session. Now that we've established the cueing platforms and the movement patterns that we want to see in our athlete, we're ready to sprint. What we're going to ask her to do is tackle the same movement patterns that we addressed in our sprint drills. Darian, let's go ahead and take a rep.